Hello YouTubers, today I am doing over my second revision of this build. I didn't like the BMS on the side here and I rigged up a couple different things here. With the wires and stuff, I wanted to keep all the like ground wires and stuff like that, any other uh, negatives away from any of these and these wires not able to pinch inside the case. Because if you do the, the case and you actually like you know have it upside down or something like that you could actually pinch the wires inside here so what i did with the case itself so it can't you know so you could put all the wires on the side here for each cell group i ended up using hot glue inside the battery case itself just to kind of bring it up just a bit so there were no wires could be pinched whatsoever and i didn't like using the battery supply that had a battery pack here on the side which I'd have a, bu a button to jump start it I didn't like it it was kind of like unsafe because the wiring was going inside which that would have been a positive negative in there which if somehow reason it would pinch inside and you know cause an issue with starting a fire or something like that so I just wanted to be a little bit more safer I guess so I did all the group wiring with uh, hot glue to raise it up so therefore the case inside the battery pack itself can't jar up and damage it turn off autofocus there for a second so it want to jar up and you know pinch the wires and cause a short or something like that uh, what I decided to do is I put the BMS up here now, the smart BMS. This is a uh, smart 48, 72 volt Bluetooth, so it communicates with your phone. I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, I housed all the wire, the, the grounds and the positive, totally opposite. And for my plug, I decided to use uh, a very thick cord uh appliance cord basically i just thought it would be easier and simple to plug in so i used a an outlet plug therefore keeping the wires and the gauge of the appliance cord so i got the biggest thickest appliance cord the gauge wire is like uh i want to say it's about this thickness right here so that's basically what i'm using for the plug so one of these wires would be kind of like that thick and what I decided is you know I have plenty of HDMI ports for fixing the game console so I decided I would just uh, use HDMI port here and I built a little because you got to jump start the voltage on here so jump starting the voltage you got to send voltage into the BMS to turn it on so I figured I'd come out with like a little jump start system which I came out this little pack right here and so basically with the plug I separated the negative and positive on each side of the HDMI use that wire and that feeds into the BMS to supply power to the actual BMS to kick it on so we'll, we'll do that we'll kick it on so you just plug it in bam it's on there you go so the BMS will turn on here bam there we go we got communication now we can go to the app here, ANT, BMS app, and we can see our voltage. So we're sitting at 53 volts, each cell group. Get that focused. I'd have to go on the side, side camera, but I'm, that's not what this is about. I just wanted to show you how you how I you know created the jump start. It's nice, so you don't have this cell, these cells around here. You're not tapping into the cell group of the actual battery pack, which just cause more uh, hazards down the road or anything, something like that. Just to be on the safe side, because of how I separated all the wiring, you know, so there's no grounding whatsoever that can ground out and short out. Which, you know, just keeping everything separate right here. Even this, the, the ground wire right here that goes in. The first negative. 
So I just wanted to go over the video, we're shutting that down. Just a little simple video of the jump starting and how I redesigned it again. I like it this way a little bit better. Uh, it's pretty awesome how this controls the whole charging system and everything from Bluetooth. And I gotta figure out how to hook up the panel. I don't know if this panel is Bluetooth. I haven't heard anybody comment on my other video because there's no instructions on this. I know there's some data lines right here to plug in, but I don't see no plug, no physical plug. There would have been a plug that would have been stationary right here. And it looks like five pins. And this is four pin connection, so. I don't know if you'd use this P, the, the P5 right here, this one. But if somebody knows, they know how to hook this up. Is this Bluetooth? Does this communicate with the Bluetooth? I haven't tried powering it up yet. But I'd like to have this on the bike to be able to see what cell group and stuff like that, what's going on with it, instead of using the phone. So that'd be kind of a nice feature. So if you guys know, leave a comment below. I'd appreciate it. <clears throat> and as always, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.